subscribe to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Jeannie I live in Colorado I do a lot of hiking outdoor travel adventure stuff on my channel day in the life here living in Colorado so if you're interested be sure to subscribe and follow along so in my last video I announced we transformed our SUV into a camper and obviously there is no type of water toilet hookups taking place in an SUV and those can kind of be some important things to think about when you're going camping so living in Colorado we have a wide variety of opportunity to do a lot of off the grid dispersed camping and that is what we are really looking forward to doing more than staying at like a campground where you know you have a neighbor on each side of you and you have the toilet and you have the shower um, not saying we won't ever do that but we're really looking for that off the grid experience because you can get some pretty cool camping setups out in the woods out on top of a mountain all by yourself that's what we're looking for in this so we had to get creative and figure out a system in order to go to the bathroom and shower off so that is what I'm gonna cover today I'm gonna show you our cheap easy DIY portable shower and toilet what we'll be using as we are camping in our SUV. But the first thing we're going to work on is the DIY portable camp shower. This is something that is enough to just like clean us for like a night or two. We're going to put it together here and it will work perfect for having a little DIY shower while camping without amenities. So I got all of these items from Home Depot and you guys it's super simple. Most of this stuff is either in the garden section or in the plumbing section. We picked up this multi-use sprayer, which most people use this to go like spray weeds around their yard. We got a two gallon. They have like three, four larger ones. Um, we figured two gallon is just plenty for us. And then the rest of these items from Home Depot was this garden hose adapter, three quarter inch. Another garden hose adapter. So these are like male and female. Just a regular garden hose sprayer and this tiny little hose clamps. I'm pretty sure all of this that we picked up at Home Depot was under $25. Here is the sprayer and basically all we have to do with this thing is just replace this end because it has this tiny little sprayer on it. But the awesome thing about this is this is just an air pump so you push air into this and it creates a really nice spray. That's why it's so nice. This is like all in one already except we just want to replace the sprayer to have a better shower system. The first thing I'm going to do is put the these two adapters on my sprayer. So it shouldn't be too difficult. Alright. So this is the adapter that goes in the sprayer. And then this side just goes in like that. So that is the connection for the sprayer. Easy, right? Here is the hose that um, came with this. And this end right here with this little plastic piece, you want to save this because this goes into the water tank. And this end that had the sprayer, which I unscrewed it already, but anyways, we basically just cut this off. So this was attached to this. I already like unscrewed this because I was just looking at it. But basically, we're just cutting this end off so we can replace it with our new sprayer. Just like that. So now we're gonna take our hose clamp and put that on just because we have to put our sprayer in here now and we need this on before we put the sprayer on. You won't be able to get this on top of this. So make sure you just throw this on so it's on. And then we gotta try and get this guy into this tiny little hose. <laughs> And I could not get this thing on. <laughs> I had to call in reinforcements back here. I heard the beer. <laughs> um, yeah, this thing was really difficult to get on. So my husband took over to get this on for me. I think he put a little bit of lithium grease over the the nozzle part here to kind of like get it on. But it was it was hard. So just a heads up, wasn't the easiest thing. Um, you could probably even like heat this up a little bit to make it a little flexible. I don't know. He, anyways, he got it on there though. So yay. So now all we got to do is tighten up this hose clamp and it's basically done. Just so you know, you guys can use a screwdriver to tighten this, but we have one of these, what are these called? Sockets. Sockets. <laughs> we have sockets. So um, that's what we're using. All right, there it is. So this is all done. So now you just take this end 
and you put it right in the water tank. Tighten it up. You got yourself a small little nice portable shower for camping. So now let's go fill this up with water and we'll see how it sprays. And then you just put this in. And then you just pump this to create pressure. And then I have my sprayer set to shower. All right, let's test it out. Wow, you guys, look at that. That's a nice spray. That's like really good water all my flowers with this little guy <laughs> yeah, there you go <laughs> yeah we won't be using um garden oh, don't you dare <laughs> you gonna shower with that thing hun sure Burr. okay we need to put hot water in that <laughs> our plan is to at least fill this up with like regular warm water before we leave and then we can boil some water like halfway maybe to put in there just to like warm it up enough for us to shower off with this isn't like your full-blown regular shower we understand that it's just enough to get us clean after a day of hiking or whatever i cannot go to bed dirty that's just gross but this is like perfect it's small portable i feel like it's definitely more durable than a lot of like those shower bags and stuff you see online and ladies for long hair like mine um i don't know that i'll be like washing my hair i actually i might i mean we could totally go all out and wash the hair but for one to two nights um, I plan on using this to just do a nice wash throughout my whole body my face like all the things and I'll probably leave my hair unless it's like really nasty and sweaty or something then I'll be just using a good dry shampoo to touch up the hair until I can get back home to do a regular shower wash your body with this touch up the hair with some dry shampoo and you're good to go. So now, since we're gonna be staying super fresh and super clean while we're out camping with our DIY portable shower, now it's time to talk about the toilet situation. And this is super easy as well, you guys. Here is everything we are using to create our DIY toilet for camping. This is a three and a half gallon bucket. This is the Reliance Lugabaloo seat cover that goes on to the bucket. A garbage bag, obviously toilet paper and horse pellets. So let me go over all how this works. All right, so we are using a three and a half gallon bucket as our off the grid toilet. Now your most common bucket like this is gonna be a five gallon bucket, but for space wise, we went with a three and a half gallon bucket. If you watched my video where I showed you our DIY platform bed and how we were setting it up, this right here was the biggest component on how high our bed was going to be made in our Jeep. This goes right here underneath our bed. Slide this back on, and it's done. A five gallon bucket would have never fit in here. A five gallon bucket is probably like this tall, and if you're camping out of an SUV, each inch of space in your SUV has to be thought out carefully. So that's why we decided not to do the five gallon and get a three and a half gallon, which to our luck, these seat covers fit three and a half gallon. I almost went with a two gallon, but I read reviews that that is too small. These will not fit that. Now the only place I could actually find a three and a half gallon bucket was at our local Walmart. Like I couldn't find anything online. And if I did, it was like a pack of like 10 or something. I didn't need that. I just needed one. So this little blue bucket from Walmart was $5. I picked this up at Dick's for 13. And then, I mean, the rest of the stuff is like stuff we already had. So it's super easy to put together. First off is toilet paper. You gotta have like easy access to that. We took out the little handle of this. Take the toilet paper and slide it right on here and it just hangs right on the bucket. Easy peasy. And then you just snap this back into the hole. All right, there it is, just hanging. So now we don't have to like worry about where is the toilet paper. Uh, we're just using standard garbage bags. Now I know there's, um, different types of bags that you can purchase online. But way, way back in the day when we actually used to have an ice castle, which was like an ice fishing house and a camper all in one. It's a Minnesota thing. In that camper, we had like the same setup. We just had a five gallon bucket and we used just regular garbage bags all the time and they worked great. Like. 
we never had leaks or anything weird going on so that's why I'm just using our regular normal garbage bags that we use here in the house and basically I'm just gonna put this in here And the bag is on I just left a little overhang on the sides and just kind of tucked the rest down in there now you may be wondering why the heck I'm using this so we have a cat and way back when we used to have our old like camper we used to use kitty litter and that worked just fine but then when we eventually got our cat we were using kitty litter and I just hated kitty litter it would stick to his paws and it just had like a smell and all the things so I found a more natural way um, for him to use his litter box and it's way cheaper way better doesn't like scatter everywhere and that's horse pellets you can get a five pound bag at a tractor supply bomb guards anywhere where you can get like horse type material so this is what we use for our cat and this is also what we're going to be using for our camping toilet and basically all you do is sprinkle a bunch of this down into the bottom of this it, these little pellets absorb all the moisture and it turns into sawdust so that's how these work and it's amazing like everyone should be using these for their cat's kitty litter and for anything else including you know camping <laughs> so you know what once these pellets have turned into sawdust they've been completely used so we're just going to pour a little bit of this at the bottom and then when we go to the bathroom it will turn into sawdust or at least portions of it it won't all turn into sawdust and then we're just gonna have like an extra bag of these available so if we need to add or replace we have them available hey guys so this is what the inside looks like we got our pellets on the bottom and i just kind of push the bag all the way on the sides and if it's great so now the most important piece the toilet cover <laughs> just like any standard toilet cover let me get this open and it has a latch on here you have to open so that's nice it's not like free doing this so it latches nice down but there it is and it just snaps right on top of the bucket there. and you got yourself a camping toilet <laughs> there it is it's all set up for camping <laughs> to mention with this obviously it's a three and a half gallon so it is quite a bit shorter so um do keep that in mind um you are like squatting quite far <laughs> in order to go to the bathroom you could probably actually like prop this up on something i don't know like a cooler or something to like make it higher um if you need to do that another thing um we only plan on using this for number one and unless it's a dire emergency this can be used for a number two um but we really are gonna try not to use this for number two unless like i said we absolutely have to like if we have to go number two we're gonna try and get to a grocery store or gas station or something to do that but this just makes it so much easier hop and squat thing in the back of the woods that's not gonna work for me <laughs> so i knew i needed one of these little guys to get me through that so you're probably thinking okay genie you got your shower you got your toilet what are you gonna do just go stand in the middle of your campsite and go to the bathroom and take a shower with possibly people watching you no i figured this out too i'm all about privacy when you're doing you know these types of things so one more thing i did purchase was a portable pop-up pod it's basically a tall skinny tent where you can take care of all your business before i show you how this thing works first i want to show you the size so this is how compact it is super skinny literally can just throw it underneath anything in your suv and very lightweight all right this is like the easiest thing to set up too and it literally just like undoes itself like, yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> that is what the Papa Pod looks like. It just has this zipper right here. You can roll this up and attach it to these little hooks. 
And then you can just go inside and do your biz. Plenty of room in there for the toilet. Lots of space and a cat. See, it all fits. And plenty of space to put your little shower. And you still have plenty of room here to like move around to like shower and clean yourself. I am a five, seven and a half, and I can fully stand up in this with no problem with lots of room around me to do everything I need to do. So here I am standing all the way. I still have like probably six inches above my head too. And then this pop-up tent also has a whole bag of these little stakes and some rope to help secure this if it's like really windy or something outside. If you're familiar with a regular tent, um, most tents have these little loops on each corner of the tent. And then you just put a stake through this and then you push it down in to the ground to help secure it from getting blown over. All right, and that is my super, super easy, super, super cheap toilet shower pop-up tent system for camping off-grid dispersed camping wherever you are and you might not have amenities for a night or two i will leave all the links in the description of all the items that i purchased so with that said i hope this was helpful and if you have any questions of course comment below and happy camping to you all we'll see you guys in the next camping adventure let's go camping okay <laughs>